And here we've got Logan. Logan Mitchell is relatively new to the scene. Not necessarily new, but has come back to the game after a lengthy hiatus since maybe Opus 1, Opus 2. Yeah. What are, well, firstly, congratulations on 3-0. That's really good so far. Thanks, uh, yeah. How do you find the deck, and how do you think the game has changed in between times? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so, I guess the deck that I'm running right now is the YRP Yuri Chalinka kind of combo. That's featured on our channel. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, Drop Basil, this gets terrible. But yeah, I know. It's obviously it's a very consistent deck and it's just a lot of fun to play. Um, obviously back in Opus 1 and 2, there wasn't that much consistency, especially not how it is now. Especially where you can search for backups, you know, you can just Ironically, I would say that Water Wind was probably one of the most consistent decks back then, back because then, yeah. the Searcher Pain being able to fetch two of your different two cost backups. That is very true. Dab Goblins in the background, uh, a rare breed found in Scotland, and uh, legend has it that they don't live beyond the age of seven. <laughs> Um, what was the other question? Uh, the, the, the other question, let, let, let's see if we can go for another one. How have the matches been so far? What was the toughest match so far? Alright, okay, so, yeah, so my, my toughest match... 50 minutes off your life. Sorry. My toughest match certainly was against this guy named Craig. Um, <laughs> did that show up on camera? <laughs> I hope that didn't show up on camera. Um, yeah, okay, so no, my... All of my matches so far have been pretty close. Um, every time it's kind of going down to about four or five damage, and it's usually because I'm milling them out kind of consistently that they're not having the answers. And I guess as well because the combination does a lot of kind of board swipes, um, I've managed to kind of hold back just long enough to be able to swipe usually about three of their forwards. Um, every time I come down, and that just kind of really upsets their games. Um, so I was playing against a ice lightning deck, ice earth deck. Um, and again, that one was quite close, wasn't sure which way it was gonna go, but then he made a big play, and I just happened to have Diabolos in hand. Um, so he effectively brought down a Kuja, and Dolph froze my unit. Very, very difficult, but uh, I guess if you, if you overload a deck with powerful summons and really game-changing effects like Veilfor, some of the time when you hit five backups, you just kind of win. Yes, this is very true. Yeah. Would you say there is a card that performs least in the deck? Least. Um, or, or anything you would change if you could register a similar but slightly different deck list? What would it be? I suppose. Like, so the one change that I made to the deck list was to swap out the um, the Basilisk for the Death Gaze. Basilisk is a card that I think only really does something if you have something already on the deck to combo with. You know, it's, it, it doesn't do anything on its own most yeah. of the time. It kind of just sits there and waits until you've got a veil for and five backups, and that's a lot of assumptions to make for something that is only a random pick one with one off. So basically, anything would be more consistent than it, but less explosive. Yeah, I suppose. But at the same time, you know, you do get the opportunity if you do swipe their board for three, then Basilisk can kill a seven k and then break another, right? But either way, I swapped it out for a Death Gaze just in the event that I just need a, a cheap. Um, break that character without having to try to build up all this play, but so, I've yeah. not actually seen it throughout any of my matches. So. That's what you get with one-offs, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much for your time. It's been brilliant. Uh, tune back in for round four and round five coming up. All right. Bye.